The transportation and logistics sector is one of the most complex and interlinked sectors of any given economy. It, is literally, it literally moves and stirs civilization access to commodities and critical services. Now, we need not to mention how COVID-19 has thrown our industry into a whirlwind, affecting the livelihoods of those not only employed, but who's, who also heavily rely on the smooth operations thereof. This morning, we take stock of how COVID-19 has affected the sector and its mitigating solutions, especially with reference to the Trans-Kalahari Corridor. Now, Leslie Mpofu, the Executive Director at the Secretariat, joins us in studio to discuss this. Good morning, sir, and thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, good morning to you and good morning to, to the viewers at home. All right. Yeah. Now, Mr. Mpofu, I want us to go back. Could you please tell us how exactly COVID-19 has affected the transportation sector? Well, the uh, COVID-19 has gravely affected the, the transport uh, sector. Um, for, 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 for a start, we find that the, uh, both the commercial, um, the freight or commercial uh, you know, no, 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 no transport, as well as the passenger transport, has actually been, be, be, been affected, uh, mostly by uh, restrictions that have, uh, have been imposed. Uh, by member states um, a, 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 along the along the uh, Transkalahari corridor, mm -hmm. not only along the Transkalahari, but but all over all all, all all over the continent and the world, because we know that uh, uh, because of COVID, a number of protocols have actually been imposed, and um, um, uh, this has actually affected the 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 the, 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 the transport sector in says that they have had to bear. Uh, all the the burdens mm -hmm. and costs that have actually come up with all these uh, uh, restrictions. We know that we started with the the issues of um, uh, quarantines, mm -hmm. whereby drivers were quarantined, and this actually, actually affected them uh, uh, adversely, even in terms of social, uh, their social and psychological well-being. Mm -hmm. And uh, we now we we moved on also to now to uh, to now when borders now are being being uh, being opened, and then we we started having these. Um, uh, testing uh, before you enter mm -hmm. a country, and and all these come with a cost. You can just imagine that uh, um, a driver that uh, applies the the TKC having to deliver in Botswana, having mm -hmm. to deliver in, in, in South Africa, and uh, every time, every week, they they need to undertake that yeah. that trip, and every time they need to be tested. Yes, that actually uh, had a great impact, and it also. Uh, led also to some even companies, even smaller companies, even closing down, and hence uh, people losing even jobs. Mm -hmm. Some even bigger companies that actually had to scale down in terms of uh, uh, of their employees to to see to it that uh, you know um, they mitigate costs that have come up with the, with the COVID. So it has been a a, a really really grave. A non-tariff barrier mm -hmm. uh, on, 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 on the industry. All right. Yes. Now, recent months, we witnessed a calamity in the forms of strikes by drivers, also attacks on drivers, hijackings also topped off with um, stricter border regulations. Mm. So what mitigating solutions does the secret has the Secretariat implemented to address these issues? Yes, we, in consultation with the, in collaboration with, the, with our stakeholders, um, uh, mostly because this mostly happened in in South Africa, yes, we we engaged our 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 counterparts in South Africa, um, the, that is the government, mm -hmm. to, to 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 try and address the this uh, 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 some of this and 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 what we we have been doing mostly is in terms of, of advocacy, in terms of, of 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 awareness, in terms of education as well, and uh, and also uh, negotiating. With the, with 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 the, uh, with the government to come up with uh, measures that will mitigate uh, against some uh, such 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 strikes and hijackings because it it that is actually in fact is also a trade barrier mm -hmm. yes and it raises costs because uh, insurance premiums go up and as they go up also the impact you and me who actually now have to go to the till to mm -hmm. buy because mm -hmm. when when transport costs go go up at the end of the day, uh, it impacts the community, it, 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 the, the public, because uh, um, that somebody has to pay 
for that for, for, for that cost. And most of the time, uh, that is also relayed to the uh, to the public. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and of course, uh, it also uh, that also affected also the transport transport themselves because um, they already they have um, you know um, so so yes with the. With, with 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 their customers and uh, and and uh, to actually now we are saying we want to break away from this SOS because we are there are strikes because they are you can't deliver because uh, there's a strike in South Africa or your truck has been hijacked so now that also impacts on the integrity also of the company mm -hmm. yes now the secretariat has been optimizing virtual sphere just like many other organizations yes. due to um, COVID nineteen for engagement yes. Um, the building back better sustainable and resilient economics post COVID-19 is the theme for tomorrow's virtual forum. Yes. What are the thematic areas and who is headlining the agenda? Yes, we, we, we have um, uh, four, four, four speakers that, that, that are coming. Why, why, why don't be uh, Professor Urama mm -hmm. from the African, African Development Institute of the African Development Bank who will actually be giving us the, the keynote address. Mm -hmm. And then we'll also be having uh, Dr. Um, Munani from Botswana, University of Botswana, mm -hmm. he's an economist. And we'll also be having Dr. Mashalaba from, the, from South Africa. She, she also uh, works for the Department of Trade and Industry in South Africa. And we'll also be having um, Dr. Uh, Neville, uh, from uh, from here here, here in Namibia, mm -hmm. yes. Um, um, these these are the are, are the key speakers that that that, that will be uh, 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 tackling the um, the issue. This is a, a an um, opinion presentations okay. whereby we we want uh, to um, you know to engage our stakeholders, engage even government policy makers mm -hmm. so that uh, as we recover from, 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 from COVID-19, uh, COVID what are the strategies that we can we actually employ for us to build back better uh, uh, so that we mitigate against this devastation that we've had, uh, you know, from, uh, f f from COVID. And uh, we, we are looking at issues of... Um, uh, trade and investment, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the transport sector. These are th some of the areas that we're looking at. Uh, the um, uh, regional integration. Uh, we, are, we, are, we are looking at um, uh, policy development and regulation, uh, and, uh, 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 as well as uh, you know, developing or coming up with smart corridors. Smart corridors. Uh, that is in terms of ICT. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that uh, because of of the a uh, problem that we've had of, of COVID. Human interaction has actually been a problem and hence a transmitter of, of, uh, of, 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 of the virus. Mm -hmm. So now as we move on to smart corridors, um, what is it that, that we can do uh, to try and minimize this, this uh, human, human inter interaction? Mm -hmm. So now as we build back better and come up with strategies, come up with, with, with uh, 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 strategies that can mitigate uh, you know, future uh, devastation. If we have a, a problem of this nature in the future, what is it that we, what 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 we can do? Um, and uh, for us to mitigate the future, we have to start now, mm -hmm. as we build back now, as we do, as, we, as the economy recover. What is that we can do? What strategies can we employ to actually say um, we are um, we are building back better to so that we don't have a similar devastation? In the in the future, mm -hmm. or if, if if it's there, it's minimized. Okay. Yes. Now the secretariat will commence with its new financial year. Yes. So are you at liberty to share with us the prime focus for 2020, 2020, 2021, 2022? Yes. You know, COVID is still with us, and and that's what that's that's one thing that we are, we are trying by all means to try and mitigate and try to remove some of this the 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 the, the, the trade barriers that 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 um that, that we have because. Uh, transport costs they are they are major and and uh, um, you know transport costs um, 
you know, when we do trade facilitation, in fact, we are doing trade facilitation and minimize those transport costs. Yes. So, so uh, it is still going to be uh, 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 the major thing. Mm -hmm. And um, the development of uh, what you call the CTMS, Corridor, corridor um, Trip Monitoring System. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are uh, together with SADEC. We are, we are trying to, to, to implement that. SADC develop, developed it, and we're trying to implement it on the tickets in other corridors mm -hmm. so that we can try to see that we can minim minimize human interaction and also be in a, posi in, in, in a position to measure um, performance along the corridor as well as to monitor you know, drivers in terms of, uh, of their health uh, well-being. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, uh, but of course there are, there are, there are other... Uh, areas that that we're going to 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 uh, to, be, to be looking at in terms of advocacy, uh, uh, in terms of, of 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 negotiations, in terms of uh, harmonisation mm -hmm. of of uh, uh, of our re regulations between the three member states, so that uh, transport uh, the transport sector uh, survives. So, you know, you know, it's a resilient um, tra transport is a is a resilient, a resilient sector. Yeah. Yeah, and. Um, and it's a sector that is the backbone of the economy. And we want to, to actually continue to see that it is, plays its role uh, in terms of development, in terms of cre employment creation, and, and all that. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Yes. Mpofu. You're welcome. Thank you. That was Leslie Mpofu, the Executive Director of Transkalahari Corridor Secretariat, talking to us about how COVID-19 has affected the transportation and logistics sector. We will continue.